After wiring, remove floodlight cam from the hook. Carefully feed all the wires through the middle of the mounting bracket and tuck them inside the junction box. Then put the light fixture over the mounting bracket. Line up the mounting posts with the mounting holes and press the posts through the base of your floodlight cam. Make sure your floodlight cam sits firmly against the mounting bracket, then attach the screw cap nuts to the ends of the screws by turning them until they're secure. Now loosen the light adjustment knobs and set the lights at your desired angle. You can also loosen the lock collar to rotate the lights. Once you've found the perfect angle, tighten the lock collar and the adjustment knobs. You're almost done. Now restore power at the breaker. If you have a switch that operates your floodlight, you'll need to keep this in the on position since turning it off will cause your floodlight cam to go offline. Place the included sticker over your switch to remind others not to turn it off. Once power has been restored, the lights on floodlight cam should briefly turn on so you know that they're working. The bottom light will also begin flashing and your floodlight cam will begin speaking to you. Say hello to Rick. Follow the instructions to let you know it's in setup mode. You should step off the ladder to complete setup in the Ring app.